Hey, so what's going on guys? Matt here with Drug Reviews and welcome back to another video. And this video is going to be an interesting one because I have two of what I think are the best waterproof cases on the market. So on the right here, I have the Lifeproof Free and on the left, I have the Catalyst Total Protection Case which is basically the Catalyst Waterproof Case. And today, we're going to be focusing just on the comparison. So if you do want to check out my views and also the unboxing of these cases individually, I'll leave the link in the description below because I did one pretty thorough on each of them. But now we'll be focusing on the pros and cons of each cases and what I think is my personal choice. So before we begin the comparison, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, do hit the subscribe button and also enable notifications so you can get notified on the latest videos which I post. So without further ado, let's get into the comparison of the Lightproof Free against the Catalyst Total Protection Waterproof Case. Alright guys, so we are back and just a little disclaimer is that I've used each of these cases individually for approximately a week. So a week with the light proof and another week with the catalyst. So I can give you my honest opinion on what I think of both of these cases. By the way, this light proof is actually a loner unit because I do have to return this. And the catalyst is a case which I purchased myself with my own money because they do not sponsor this channel. So catalyst, if you are listening to this or watching this video, definitely do Hit me up if you want to sponsor this channel, I'll be very, very happy. All right, so let's get back to the cases. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is the ease of use. So daily people do want to know, do want to hear my feedback on how do I feel about this, each of these cases, like the buttons, the feel, how easy it is to install the phone in each of these cases. So that's what I'll be talking about first. All right, so let's... Uh, go with the case I've been using for the last couple of years. So the Lifeproof Free has always been my go-to case, I mean for waterproof cases, uh, for the last couple of years, in fact, since the iPhone 4 days. I think you've probably heard that a uh, ton of times already. So I've always trusted the Lifeproof Free, but uh, however, things have actually taken a turn, uh, especially with the latest uh, 12 version, and I'm not impressed, to be honest, to say the least. Uh, but let's go back to the ease of use. So, in terms of how easy it is to install the phone in the case, I think the Lifeproof Free and the Catalyst, I think they are pretty much the same in my opinion. I think they are both very easy to take on and take off. Personally, I do like the rigidity of the Catalyst case if you compare both of them. The Free is a little more flimsy. I'm not sure whether this is on camera. Let me get this to focus. It's a little more flimsy, so you can see right here. You can actually flex the case a little more. You can see the back is slightly softer. Of course, there's no phone in the case, but even with the phone in the case, the back is slightly more mushy compared to the Catalyst. So the Catalyst is a very solid case on its own, even without the back installed. I feel like the Catalyst has a very rigid frame. That's something I really do like, especially when you drop your phone, you do want to have a case that is rigid so that it will not flex and damage the phone on the inside. So I think overall, in terms of uh, the quality, I still will give it to the Catalyst because yes, the drop protection on both of these cases are the same, two meters, uh, but the Catalyst is slightly more waterproof, water resistant, I should say. So this is able to go down deeper compared to the Lightproof Free. So Lightproof Free can only go down for like two meters. But the Catalyst, on the other hand, can go up to 10 meters. So two meters versus 10 meters, that's a very, very big difference. So I guess that is what influences the rigidity of the case as well. So it's able to withstand more pressure because the deeper you go, more pressure on the case. So if you have a more rigid body, it's able to stand the pressure more. So in terms of uh, ease of use, the buttons and uh, stuff like that, um, definitely I'll give it to the Catalyst. Everything about the Catalyst, every button about the Catalyst is so much better including the mute and ring toggle i have right here so this actually just works perfectly never had any issues right here so i do love uh, the overall ease of use i should say especially with the buttons on the catalyst if you compare it with the lightproof free lightproof free is a pain to work with the buttons so in terms of uh buttons i'll definitely give it to the catalyst so of course not all things are terrible with the lightproof free in terms of handling in terms of the comfort on my palm i think the lightproof free is the way to go because i feel very comfortable and uh the because the corners are actually curved you see they're actually sloped it's much more comfortable to actually use 
it doesn't dig into my pinky because I'm right-handed doesn't dig into my pinky as much as the catalyst so the catalyst has a more boxy look boxy feel you can see right here the boxy design I should say so when I hold it like this actually I feel like especially this bottom part which I actually mentioned in my previous video so the bottom part actually digs into my pinky or my palm in fact pinky on my left hand and palm on my right hand so I'm not really a big fan of uh, the way it feels as compared with the life proof phrase so in terms of the feel in the hand feel in the hand definitely I will give it to the life proof free of course there are some uh, sharp edges here but uh, it doesn't really matter because most of the time your palm is going to be feeling the soft edges I mean the smooth edges of the corners of this case all right so in terms of handling handling wise um, this is a very tough choice um, both of them are slippery that's all I can say but the catalyst is slightly less slippery compared to the free so the free is like full polycarbonate on the back so you can see it actually slides very very easily Here on the table you can actually just slide down like this super super easy to slide around but as compared to the the catalyst right here I just took a screenshot for no reason all right so on the cat as compared to the catalyst you can see it is slippery but not as much as the lipo free if I do put the catalyst it does slide eventually but uh, not as bad so both of them are slippery so in terms of putting your phone uh, face up um, both of them are about the same but when you put your phone face down um, I think the catalyst is more slippery definitely because the catalyst has more plastic exposed on the front of the phone as compared to the light proof free the light proof free has more rubber on the edge though you can see right here light proof free doesn't slide around as compared to the catalyst so in terms of uh in terms of grip i should say uh, i will definitely give it to the light proof free if you do put your phone face down all right so that out of the way um materials wise i will still give it to the catalyst I like the choice of materials so you can see right here this is a very nice clear bag so if you do have uh, other colored iPhones like the Pacific Blue the graphite or the silver I should say white it will show through the catalyst case compared to the light proof free the light proof free is basically just a black slab I still prefer the design of the catalyst that's for sure so when it comes to charging you do have to open the ports same with the catalyst so you do have to open this pot right here this is something I do have to give the light proof credit because I think the catalyst version is a bit mushy and I think this will break eventually that's what I mentioned in the review as well on the other hand the light proof free version is uh, very solid yes there's no replacement so if you do break this that's it your light proof free is basically useless I mean it's a waterproof case uh, but they do give a replacement on the catalyst so i think i'll give them a win for them because definitely a replacement would be worthwhile because definitely you'll be using these cases for a long long time all right so next is actually installation and removal for me personally i think both of these cases are really good really easy uh, you just peel them off uh, if you have the light proof free you can just pull this tab and then that's it very simple and then you can snap them back as easy as one two three same goes for this you just have to pull on this tab right here you can see opens up very easy and simple and then you just snap them on as easy as that uh, in terms of uh, how it clips in place both of them do a good job uh, I never had any issues with both the life proof free or the catalyst waterproof case or the catalyst total protection case both of them snap on perfectly well and I've dropped my phone in these cases and none of them actually popped out so I think the design wise it is very good i think i would definitely trust my phone in any of these cases so in terms of getting my phone wet um, because of this see-through bag and how the water gets into the gasket right here because the gasket is actually deeper into the groove so watching the water get into the edges of the back portion actually gives me the chills as though my phone is going to get wet in this case but however never have any issues of course this is a black case on the free so you're not never going to see any of that so but anyway both of them work very well and after using them for a while definitely the gasset will collect dust so 
so you can definitely get dust all over in the gaskets as well um, for both of them so you do have to get a nice clean moist microfiber cloth and actually clean them off so that's definitely gasket maintenance that uh, the user has to do right there so in terms of that never have any issues i've heard uh, certain users complain that after a while the catalyst case actually collects dust at the port down here and then when they open the port to charge the dust actually goes into the screen uh, i personally use magsafe and i'll talk about wireless charging later on so i use magsafe so never had any issues on both of them i do not open the port at the bottom because the more you open the port the more the port is going to spoil the faster the port is going to spoil okay next let's talk about the cameras okay so this is a topic where i've actually discussed many times with the fray but never with the catalyst because this is my first catalyst case i'm happy to report that both of them produce excellent pictures but there's one thing with the lipo free that i do not like is the ghost thing so the you know the camera lens on the iphone has a bit of inverted uh, reflection that you get when pointing a direct source of light at the camera and because this has optical coating the ghost thing becomes even worse so in terms of color wise both of them about the same more or less of course your shootings through another piece of material you don't expect to get 100% the same quality as the naked iPhone camera but it does like 99% of the quality so I think that's more than enough uh, for daily use um, in terms of the camera lens any another thing which I did mention uh, in my catalyst review video is that I did not like this uh, thin membrane of course using it for the past week or so never had any issues and in fact this is actually still my daily case so even spraying water directly at the film for the lidar and the flash never punctured so that's a very good thing but in terms of confidence wise i still feel more confident with the lipo freeze um, camera lens setup right here i'll definitely pick the free over the catalyst in terms of longevity wise because this is seems more durable but however the coating the optical coating the purplish layer you see right there will actually come off in my experience because i've used it for the 11 pro max as well brought it to korea scrapped some grass or maybe some some sand and the coating actually came off and that ruins the picture quality so this is definitely based on personal preference i think both do a great job all right so flipping to the front this is where things get a little different a little trickier to to say the least both of the built-in screen protectors work flawlessly never had any accidental touches never had any issues with basically the inbuilt screen protector so i'm very happy to report that both of them do an excellent job however when it comes to fingerprint rejection definitely i'll give it to the lipo free so the free shows much less fingerprints as compared to the catalyst so you can see the catalyst has a ton of fingerprints right here let me show you in the light and these are very hard to remove let me grab my microfiber cloth now show you to you right here no matter how i wipe it there's still some oil stain right here but if you compare it to the live proof free very nice i'm not sure what they did with the whatever film they're using on here and this is slightly more rigid as compared to the catalyst the catalyst feels a little bit more flimsy but yeah definitely you will never go wrong with any of these screen protectors because i mean they are the imbued screen protectors you pick the case that's the screen protector you're definitely going to have to live with and both of them do a very good job for a waterproof case but there's something i do have to mention about the size of this front cutout right here the lipo free has a slightly bigger screen protector i should say bigger cutout on the front and the catalyst has a slightly smaller one and in my testing the catalyst cutting as you say the cutting on the front has actually affected the light sensor so if my phone is at an angle like this and there's a light source shining from the top the screen will go dark something as well as you can see here so let me demonstrate it to you see the screen doesn't brighten at all only in direct contact with light you can see the screen go bright so i find that as a minor annoyance uh, sometimes when I'm like under um, artificial light and I'm trying to use the phone, the screen just goes dark. So I think they should make this cutting slightly bigger, something like the Lipo Free. I think this is the perfect, this is the gold standard in terms of cutting. Yes, the case is a bit wider because of that. In fact, I feel like in my hand, the, the catalyst feels a little bit slimmer 
and also less wide compared to the Lipo Freak. Um, believe it or not, I believe that the Lipo Freak is slightly, ever so slightly thicker compared to the Catalyst. I will give the front screen protector award to the Lipo Freak because I, I still love the Lipo Freak's uh, front inbuilt screen protector and that's something I can live with. Um, but in terms of clarity wise, both are about the same. They do have some micro dots, so they do not have any like a uh, rainbowing effect compared to the previous 11 version of the Lifeo 3 that had some rainbow effect but none of these issues on both of these cases right here right next so let's go on to MagSafe so the charging part where I think it's very important to people using the iPhone 12 version since the Lifeo 3 has an arch sort of an arch back because I bet it's for the sound the audio side of things this actually is harder to position MagSafe on the back as compared to the Catalyst because the Catalyst sits really really close the back portion sits really really close to the iphone so when you do slap on magsafe it's very easy to find let me show you right here you can see it's very easy to find of course it doesn't stick on it perfectly uh, because it's not magsafe compatible but it works with magsafe more than adequately you can see right here magsafe works very well as compared to the lipo free when i'm constantly like trying to find the spot um, that is quite annoying. So I feel that in terms of material wise, they should make it slightly harder and maybe design it like compressed a little. I'm not sure whether they can do it in the next generation, but there's something to take note of if you are a MagSafe user. Personally, if I'm a MagSafe user, I will definitely pick the Catalyst. So the Catalyst has better overall grip with the magnets. So I can just throw my phone on there and I will not have any problem as compared to the live where I'm trying to find the spot. So in terms of charging with uh, MagSafe, I will go with the Catalyst. So moving on to audio quality wise, uh, as I mentioned in my review of uh, both of these cases, I feel personally that the Catalyst has a better sound quality overall in terms of loudness. But in terms of bass, definitely the Life Proof 3, even though it's a bit more muffled than the Catalyst Total Protection. So that's something you do have to take note of. Basically, you're not buying a waterproof case for the audio quality. If you want good audio quality, get something like the Catalyst Impact Protection Case. I think that is a much better choice because it leaves your speaker ports open. If you're using a waterproof case, don't expect great sound quality. We're just comparing in terms of the worst sound quality you can get with a waterproof case. And among this, the worst goes to the Lifeproof 3 and slightly better goes to the catalyst so i'm able to hear my calls um basically listen to my music much better because i've tried using this case in the shower with music on and i can hear the music much clearer on the catalyst waterproof case as compared to the lightproof free so there's a major win right there all right so last but not least will be my personal choice of waterproof case after many many years of using the lightproof free i definitely do have an attachment and i do have trust built up with the lightproof free but ever since I started using the Catalyst, things have changed because my personal choice for a waterproof case would definitely be the Catalyst Total Protection. So for daily case, both of them work. So both of them are more than adequate. But uh, you get extra peace of mind when using the Catalyst waterproof case. And on top of that, in Malaysia, the Lightproof Free is priced at a ridiculous price at 379 ringgit. As compared to the Catalyst Total Protection, which only costs like 329 ringgit. So if you do look for like certain stores on Lazada, you can in fact get this for even a cheaper deal compared with the Lifeproof Free. So in terms of warranty wise, I've not tried uh, the Catalyst because this is basically my first Catalyst case, but I've tried the Lifeproof because it's by Autobox Malaysia. So the warranty side of things is very, very convenient. I should say they do get it replaced with no issues right there. Uh, of course within the one year warranty period all right guys so this concludes my video if you did like it do hit the thumbs up button and also let me know in the comments which is your personal pick i'll leave the links in the description below if you do want to pick any of these cases up i'll try to find links for people outside of malaysia but for malaysia i do know which stores to get it from all right so this concludes my video thanks guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video